Hey, you looking forward to the beef pot roast? Aw, oh, yeah, man. You know I'm always up for a good pot roast, if you get what I'm saying. All right, I'll let you know when we're ready. All right, we're ready for you. Get on in there. I think there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. Today, I will be reviewing Martha Stewart beef pot roast. The glare is so bad on this box, you probably can't see it. Hopefully that is a little bit better. So this is what I'm gonna try today. It looks all right. Now let's take a look at the back here. It's got the nutrition. 190 calories, 11% for fat, 12% for saturated fat, 21% for cholesterol, 23% for sodium, 4% for carbs, 9% fiber, and 19 grams of protein. A uh, decent protein to calories ratio, I think. I'm trying to uh, get like 200 uh, grams of protein a day because I'm trying to bulk up a little bit. High sodium and cholesterol, but what are you going to do? It's a microwave meal. All right, where is the... Okay, here are the cooking instructions up on the top here. So the instructions are remove the tray from the carton, apply two puncture slits to the top of the film, Place tray directly on glass plate in the center of the microwave. Ensure the tray is not touching any walls. Cook on high for 2 minutes and 45 seconds. It really needs to do the like spin thing. I'm not sure that my microwave does that, but whatever. And then three is peel back film and stir thoroughly, recover, and cook on high for an additional 45 seconds. So that's 2 minutes 45 plus 45, so like... It would be like 3.30, so probably like 4 minutes in total-ish. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's kind of a blob of gravy. You got a little bit of the, the meat over here. Looks like probably potatoes and carrots and some other stuff all around everywhere else. What do I have for puncture slits? I have this butter knife from I don't know what. Let's puncture over here. This is not a safe... Uh, I don't hold on. That was the a, a dumb idea. Oh! Okay, that was a little loud. That was quite loud, in fact. And then let's do one over here. Okay, there we go. That was very loud. Two puncture slits completed. I'm gonna go cook this up and I will be back with the finished product. A hey, phone camera here to bring you the stir phase. Eh, come on. All right, you know what, phone camera, offline. Whoa, look what magic happened, okay. This is still not at all doable, uh, <laughs> one-handed. Never mind, imagine me stirring this. I have returned. This is the finished product here. You got the box, about the same. Maybe uh, more gravy on this, I think, than the box shows, but whatever. Let's get a little down angle here. Looks all right. There's not a ton of food. Looks like I bent the little container there. Looks okay. Smells like beef and gravy. Okay, let's uh, take a bite. I think I bit into a carrot there. And it was still slightly cold. I think maybe I successfully recorded stirring with the phone and it was, you know, still in frozen chunks. So kind of unfortunate. It was, that was, carrot was also quite tough. This is still kind of cold. Did I not cook it for long enough? No, oh, I definitely cooked it for the right amount of time. Maybe my microwave is too weak for this or something. But it is a little cold. Take that into account when you're cooking it. It is very chewy. I don't really like that. The flavor is okay. It's unique. It definitely has like a hint of citrus which adds a little uh, something funky to it. It's also got like olives and stuff in there, which add their own, own flavor. So it all sort of mixes together. And it's uh, quite a unique and interesting blend. The beef tastes fine. It is just a little chewy. The carrots are like fairly tough. They're not like raw uncooked carrots, but they're not, uh, they take some effort to chew through. Overall, it's just okay. Uh, I like the taste, uh, the, all the, the different like uh, olives and dates and uh, orange flavor and everything comes together in an interesting way. 
Wait, are these potatoes or are these something else? Hold on, these don't actually, these have a, now that I'm trying them on their own, these guys have a weird consistency and they don't taste like potatoes. I thought they were potatoes. Maybe they're definitely not potatoes. Maybe that's the weird thing. Maybe those are dates. That's probably the big issue here. I don't really like dates. I think the carrots may have been slandered because I thought that was the carrots, but yeah, they're uh, fibrous, a little uh, tough to chew through. Not like that tough. And they taste, I don't know, they have a unique taste, kind of uh, like other sort of root and vegetable, sort of similar-ish to carrots, maybe. Uh, not like root vegetables like potatoes, though. They are not potatoes. They are just masquerading as potatoes. I think I've had enough to give it my rating. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I don't want to say it's bad, but I don't want to say it's good either. The taste is nice. The taste is interesting and unique. You know, it's not boring. It's got something to it. It's got a little, uh, like, citrus uh, mix with, like, various different vegetables. It comes out tasting interesting, at least. But it's cold, which might be an issue on my end, so that might not be fair. But I did cook it for the uh, instructed amount of time. Maybe I need to just cook it more. A lot of the stuff is kind of tough and chewy as well, which might be a result of it still being cold. And that really lowers it. I'm not really, there's a lot of like dates that make up a lot of the dish and I'm not really feeling them. That pulls it down as well. I think there could be something uh, special here, but it's just, it just didn't really come together when I made it. So five out of 10. It's kind of interesting, but it really isn't very good. Thank you for watching. See ya. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this outro, I'm changing the review because something happened. So I had the meal yesterday afternoon, evening-ish, and that night I had a lot of issues. Now I do have a modified digestive system with no colon. So most people probably won't suffer from this, but I have a lot of issue with like fiber or things that are in large solid chunks. Maybe, I think I have issues. Anyway, I got up last night in a lot of pain and had to keep going to the bathroom and it was very painful and unpleasant. So I'm changing the review to a one. Would not ever eat again. Not great at all. I think it was like the dates and everything. They were just too tough and I probably didn't chew them well enough and they clumped up. It, it, it's bad. I probably think I got a, a minor uh, intestinal blockage there. But I think I'm a lot more prone to have that happen as I have a modified digestive tract due to my over-enthusiastic immune system uh, killing my colon. So probably not anything anyone watching actually needs to worry about, but I will never be eating that again. Thank you for watching. See ya.